Hi, my name is Leslie Vernick, and I'm the Director of Christ Center Counseling for Individuals and Families. I'm also a relationship and life coach, and the author of How to Act Right When Your Spouse Acts Wrong, and The Emotionally Destructive Relationship. And today I'd like to talk to you about how do you know when someone is truly sorry. Because let's be honest, it's not always easy to tell. When someone hurts us or sins against us or does something really grievous against us in a relationship, they often say they're sorry, they say they'll never do it again, they cry, they promise they'll go to counseling, they say all kinds of things to make us take them back or forgive them and oftentimes that's exactly what we do and perhaps that's the right thing the first time. But then the same sin happens again and again and again. And we get really confused because they continue to beg us, tell us they're sorry, tell us they'll do whatever it takes to win us back, and yet they don't really do whatever it takes to win us back. And we get weary and we get tired and we're not sure whether someone's really sorry or just playing a game. And so what I'd like to do is share with you some things that you can do to tell whether someone is genuinely repentant or whether they're just speaking from some empty words because tears are the language of the heart. But it's important to listen to what the words that they're saying that are coming out of their heart because oftentimes their tears are more about the pain they're in than the pain they've caused you. They're in pain because you're putting boundaries down. They're in pain because there's consequences to their sin. They're in pain because they're struggling with guilt or shame. But they're not really in pain because of the suffering that you've been through for the pain that they've caused you. And so you want to see a shift in their mindset. They're caring more about you and your feelings than themselves. And that means that if they're truly sorry, they'll be willing to make amends to the suffering that's caused you and do whatever it takes to not repeat that behavior. Oftentimes, it's been my experience that people will make big promises to go to counseling, but they make those promises so that you will reconcile and take them back before they go to counseling, and then it never actually happens. So I would encourage you to hold your boundaries until you actually see them do the work that they're saying they're going to do, and sometimes that work isn't easy, and it does take time, and so you need to wait, and wait in love with encouragement so that they can see that they need to earn back your trust so that you can heal your relationship and have a and healthy relationship instead of destructive relationship. So you're going to watch to make sure that they're genuinely showing some responsibility for what they've done against you. That they are going to make amends and work to earn your trust. They're going to do what it takes to change and that may include getting some professional help. And then they're going to be accountable not only to you but perhaps to someone else so that this behavior is under someone else's watchful eye as well not because we want to be a policeman in their life but because all of us need help and encouragement to make significant changes and so when we're really sorry we want that accountability just like in AA people have sponsors they want that person in their lives that they can call that they can talk to that they can be real with and if they have a slip up they can confess to and so it's very important that when we're watching whether our partner is genuinely sorry or not we see some of these evidences Jesus calls them the fruit of repentance we may love our spouse or the person that is hurting us deeply, but it still may mean that we need to keep our distance so that they don't continue to sin against us. But we can be full of grace and truth as we teach them, as well as ourselves, how to have healthy relationships by having good boundaries and being able to discern whether they're truly sorry or whether they're just giving us lip service.